Hi everybody, this is Nikki, and I am here to do a video um, that is no medical advice whatsoever, um, all personal experience, and this is a CGM comparison between the Dexcom G6, Freestyle Libre, Medtronic Guardian 3, Medtronic Guardian Connect, and Eversense Sensionics. Um, I will say up front, I did not wear all five of them at once. Um, this was done in three separate comparisons. And um, it's just a look at everything from accuracy to kind of how, how high maintenance and a few things. Um, so uh, for these observations, um, I was wearing the Dexcom G6. This, and I started this about a year and a half ago, so it's been a long time, but it was the Dexcom G6. Um, it was originally the, the Freestyle Libre, the 10 day sensor, but I quickly, but that was the time I was transitioning to, into the 14 days. Um, and the Medtronic Guardian 3 version 2.2. So even though this is an old comparison between these three, um, these were the three updated um, sensors. Um, that's one, that's one comparison right there. The next comparison was when I got my hands on the Guardian Connect. So I went ahead and compared, and obviously at that time I was wearing the G6. So I compared my Guardian Connect against the G6. And then it took me a very long time to, to get my Sensionics implanted. Um, but once I had it implanted, I wore the Sensionics for 90 days and compared that to the G6. Um, I put them all in one chart just because you know, it was a way of looking at all five sensors, but I do, I want to make it clear that they were not worn at the same time. Um, okay, so here are the, here's the information. I keep getting stuck on this part of the video. <laughs> okay, sensor life, um, G6, 10 days, highly variable. Um, I get great results from my G6, you know, as far as how long I can wear it. But I've heard plenty of people say that they can get eight days or it's really gone by nine days. I hear that very skinny people, not my problem, um, seem to struggle sometimes even past four or five days. Um, so I so I say 10 days, but I know that, that, that there will be people who don't necessarily get that. Um, the Libre is 14 days. I haven't heard a lot of people say that they have problems with getting 14 days. And I don't think I ever had one not make it 14 days. Um, the Guardian sensors, both of them, the three and the Connect, those are supposed to be good for seven days, but um, I'll definitely say about the Guardian three, again, that it's highly variable. Um, lots of people, lots of people get seven days um, and lots of people feel like they're lucky if they get four or five. Um, well, let's say they're lucky if they get five. Um, they, some people start struggling around four or five days in and then it's just kind of a crapshoot. Um, Sensionix is the only implantable CGM, so that one is good for 90 days. Um, and in my case, because it took me a couple weeks to get myself together and get it removed, it was good for like 112 days, but not giving me readings, just stuck inside my body. <laughs> um, okay, accuracy. This is the part that keeps tripping me up. Um, in the first comparison between the G6, the Libre, and the Guardian 3, I collected 40 readings over five days. Um, that's how I chose to try to compare these three in the accuracy department. Um, I took the readings at random. They weren't scheduled or anything else and they were at specific times. So I took them at random. I did 40 finger sticks over those five days. And every time I did a finger stick, I would try to collect the sensor values at that time. Um, of the 40 finger sticks, of, of the 40 finger sticks or the 40 uh, time slots, 40 G6 values were available, um, 33 Libre values were available, and 36 Guardian 3 values were available. Um, the reason I say that is because this has held true with all the sensors I've worn, and that is that the G6 for me is the most present. Um, in general, I don't have a lot of times where I look down at my, at my pump or whatever, and I, or my phone, and I don't see a value there. Um, the Libre, the Guardian, and the Sensionics, between the fact that they have charging requirements and calibration requirements, those that do, um, more often when I look down, I can see that I, that I don't have a value because something needs to be done. Um, so that kind of lends itself into how high, how high maintenance I consider these sensors. And in general, 
the more I have to do to guarantee I get a value in my mind that makes it a little bit higher maintenance. Um, so my G6, 40 for 40, Libre, there's 33 of 40, and in that case, I needed to charge the reader. Um, and the Guardian 3, 36 of 40, and those are probably past calibration, past due calibrations. Okay, so um, again, how I'd like to look at it is how, um, what percentage of those values were within 20% of my meter BG value. Um, so, so let's say I do a finger stick of a 100. I want to see how many of those fell within 20%, either uh, you know higher or lower than my 100. Okay. Um, the G6, 75% of 40 readings were within 20% of my meter BG value. Um, 75%. Okay. Um, the Libre. Of the 33 readings, 78% were within 20% of my, my meter BG. Um, so you can see 78% is actually slightly higher than G6. I did make a note that I had a problem with the G6 sensor that time, and it, it took me a couple of days to realize I, I needed to calibrate. It is not a requirement, but it does help improve accuracy. And once I, once I calibrated, everything was great. So most of my problems came before I calibrated. Um, I don't feel like 75% is all that reflective of my typical, um, you know, experience with it. I feel like it is slightly higher than that. Anyway, so 78% was the Libre. Um, when it came to the Guardian 3, and this is also very representative of my experience with the Guardian 3, out of the 36 readings, 39% of them were within 20% of my, my meter BG. Um, so again, we had 75% for the G6, 78% for the Libre, and 39% for the Guardian 3. Um, uh, okay, the, um, the Guardian Connect, when I, when I pitched that up against the G6, I took 50 values over 17 days. Um, of those values, the Guardian Connect fell within 20% of my BG value 72% of the time. So you can see there's a big difference between 39% on the Guardian 3 and 72% on the Guardian Connect. I am much more fond of the Guardian Connect than the Guardian 3, and I actually have theories, but no time to discuss them. So um, of those same 50 values, 82% of my G6 readings were within 20% of my meter BG. Um, and, and this one I did say, that of an additional 24 readings taken during exercise, because I have a tendency to, to test sometimes five times or 10 times when I'm running, um, which I haven't run in a long time, but anyway, okay. Um, of an additional 24 readings taken during exercise, with both CGMs, 83% of them were within 20% of my meter BG. That's fantastic. That, that just means, because sometimes, sometimes I'm stable during exercise, but sometimes I'm falling fast or I'm rising fast. Um, so they perform neck and neck on during exercise, and that was really neat. Um, again, I'm kind of a fan of the Guardian Connect. Uh, the Sensionics, over 73 days, I took 223 finger sticks. Um, and this is a huge difference right here. Again, as I talked about the G6, when I said about it being present, of 223 readings taken over 73 days, 218 of my G6 readings were available. That means only five times that I looked down at my pump or my phone and there was no value there. Um, of 223 readings, the Sensionics was only available 166 times. So that meant that 26% of the time that I looked down at my pump or phone, my, my phone, sorry, um, there, 26% of the time there was nothing there. Um, that's a high maintenance pump to me. So there's there's lots of things that lend to that but um i'll just say that again the g6 is present more often than the others are so um of the 166 sensionics readings 81 percent were within 20 percent of my meter bg so even though it kind of suffered as far as maintenance its accuracy is really nice um and of the 216 75 percent of my g6 readings fell within 20 percent of meter bg um 75 feels very, very average, and I feel like that's very, very average. Um, and that confuses me, because in my mind, the G6 is far more accurate than that. Um, but 75% I can deal with.
I'm not pushing the G6 or anything here. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, lag. Um, comparison between G6, Libre, and Guardian. In an attempt to show lag, I recorded my BG and, and CGM values um, during a rapidly changing blood sugar. So basically, I waited until I was low. I logged when I was low. Um, I treated, and then I tested every five minutes um, for as long as I could stand it. And I collected the three sensor readings along with my finger stick. Um, okay, so in lag, and this was true to my experience, 28 of 35 G6 readings, or 80%, were within 20% of my meter BG value. Um, I said here, in my opinion, the G6 is above average in covering rapidly rising BG, um, uh, above average in tracking a falling BG, and above average in, in a change of direction. So I think that in general, it hangs fairly well. That's what I think. It hangs with my, cha with my rapidly changing blood sugar fairly well. Um, the Libre, alongside the G6, I found 30 of 35 Libre readings or 86% to be within 20% of my BG reading. Um, in my opinion, the Libre is a very strong uh, sensor in covering my rapidly rising BG. It's slower on a falling BG, um, but it's really quick to show a change in direction. Uh, Guardian 3, in comparison, alongside the other two, I found 18 of 35 Guardian 3 readings, or 51% were within 20% of my BG reading. Um, so again, I've got the 75%, no, sorry, I've got 80% for G6 in, in lag. I've got 86% in Libre, because it's a young buck. Um, and then I've got 51% in my Guardian. Um, in my opinion, just my opinion, the G3 suffers terrible lag on rapidly rising BGs, often not reflecting the true peak until 30 to 60 minutes later, if even then. It also has a moderate lag during falling BGs and is quite slow to show change of direction. Um, those arrows, like don't, and, and, and in general, I don't look at them on the G6 either. Um, but the Guardian arrows, and that's, you know, often reflecting that change in direction, they're just very, very slow to show that anything has happened. Um, anyway. I said I was going to do this whole thing in 12 minutes, and it's 12 and a half minutes, and I'm a quarter of the way through. Guardian Connect. For the Guardian Connect and Sensionics, I did not do anything specific as far as, as um, trying to show lag. Um, I will say that my gut was that they were both okay with, with lag. Um, I don't remember feeling on a regular basis when I looked like, oh, and, and that's how I felt on the Guardian 3. Um you know, that I constantly felt like, oh my God, look how slow it is. Um, I don't, I didn't feel that way about the Connect or the Sensionics. Um, and with total overall accuracy being at 72% for the Connect and 81% for the Sensionics, I feel like those would reflect, there, um, if there were, if there had been really bad lag, it would have pulled down those overall percentages. Um, and I, and I think that they were decent on lag. So I was going to do this all in one video, um, but I'm going to break it up because that one is, a, okay, I'll be back.